Society with your host, David Malmo Levine. Hello, my name is Mark Emery. I'm the publisher of Cannabis Culture Magazine. I'm the proprietor of Pot Television. And I urge you, if you want to grow some fine marijuana, to check out emeryseeds.com or the Emery Seeds catalog in Cannabis Culture Magazine and grow yourself some fine marijuana. Hello, and welcome to another edition of High Society. My name is David Malmo Levine. I'm your host and marijuana junkie, and uh, I'm trying to be a responsible intellectual. And Chomsky's definition of a responsible intellectual is a person who speaks the truth and exposes lies. And uh, oh, I've got lots of feelings about uh, what happened in New York and uh, Washington and other various parts of America uh, this past week but I'm not going to share those with you this week. I'll leave that for a later show. But I will, uh, I will try to expose one scam that Uncle Scam is perpetrating on the world right now, and it is the over-regulation of herbs. Now, I won't just say that Uncle Sam's doing it, because you know, there's pharmaceutical companies in the U.S. and in Germany and Japan and other places, even Canada, uh, that are trying to overregulate herbs so that uh, vitamins uh, will cost 28 times as much as they do now and there'll be so many regulations just to make sure you're not going to hurt yourself with these herbs that they will be um, put out of most people's reach uh, financially speaking. They're going to make herbs artificially expensive by overregulating them. Uh, this is uh, an ongoing thing, uh, the uh, uh, Controlled Drugs and Substances Act that they passed in 1996, back when they first introduced it in 94 and 95, had uh, herb riders on it that would have overregulated herbs through that act. And then they separated the, the drugs from the herbs. And now, uh, if, if you check out uh, Cannabis Canada, this issue, Cannabis Canada, this issue, Cannabis Culture, the first issue, Cannabis Culture, you can read about the shenanigans that they've been trying to introduce these herbal overregulations, and then people rise up and say, no way, and they get a little scared, and they hide and, and leave it for a later date. Well, it's back, and now the new way they're introducing it is through, surprise, surprise, the FTAA, the Free Trade of the Americas Agreements that they're going to foist upon the people, I think uh, in 2002 in Kananaskis country, uh, where the Ewoks and other uh, people trying to fight the evil empire are bowed to stop them any nonviolent way they know how. So this is what it boils down to is uh, um, they are you do, using the same tactics they use with cannabis on the rest of the herbs to Overregulate and monopolize on the rest of the herbs. They're saying that, oh, you know, people overdose on herbs and they die from these overdoses. Few, if if any, documented cases of herbal overdoses. Most people just take tons of this stuff. They're quite effective. They're very cheap. They're very safe. And uh, like any drug, like any herb, you have to use it properly. You know, stay within the reasonable dose. Uh, kind of levels that a herbalist or somebody who has some advice on that advises you. You know, it's better to err on the side of caution. But these herbs have a humongous safety margin compared to pharmaceutical drugs. In fact, uh, it's safe to say that uh, few, uh, if any, like uh, smaller than 1% of, of any of the pharmaceutical drugs are safe and effective, uh, or effective for that matter. So stay away from the pills, just stick to the herbs, and without further ado, I will introduce a clip from Big Life on CBC from 1998, where Mark Emery explained what Health Canada was trying to do and is still trying to do, uh, the, or actually the pharmaceutical companies were trying to do through Health Canada and now trying to do through the international trade agreements 
on how they're going to make herbs too expensive for you and me to use. And uh, there'll be links uh, available if you want to learn more about the herb monopoly.